Hello everyone. Today I am going to work on uh, some improvements to the flashbang. So when I throw a flashbang, if I throw it further away, you can see uh, uh, the player character don't have an effect uh, the, from the flashbang. So we don't get the flash blind in it. But if we uh, throw it closer, somewhere like this we do get the flash blind, uh, flash blind in effect uh, but if the is much closer the we get the flash blind in effect for a longer period of time if it is further away we get a shorter period of time for the flash blind in it. So I have only uh, implemented two levels uh, because I, yeah, I thought that would be enough. So yeah, let's see how to do these things today. Right, so now at the moment when I throw a flash band, regardless of the distance to the explosion position uh, I get the flash blind defect so what I want to do is if the distance is a bit far away I should not have the flash blind blind in it right so to do that let's open The flash band blueprint should be under yeah. right. So this is where we detect the if there is a clear line of sight from the explosion position to the player character and if yes we enable the flash blind in effect and here we don't really consider how uh, we do we have this flash radius so what's the distance here we have 300 oh no this is not the distance that we consider for that this distance is considered even if we don't have a line of sight even if the player is not looking at the explosion if the flash radius uh, if the player is within this flash radius, we will get the flash bang, flash bar, blind in effect. So, this is not the path I need to consider. The path I need to consider is was sector recently rendered. That means player is looking at the explosion so then we need to consider the possibility of uh, we need to consider the distance so let me collapse some of these items so that we can make the code look simpler so this part is only regarding uh, setting up the post process values. So let me put this part aside.
enable post process effect right and this part is relevant to pairing out the post process effect so about pp effect okay now here mm, we can calculate the distance so branch here we have the player character location and the grenade location so we can use the same nodes and calculate distance if distance is less than so i don't think i need to have a linear relationship that means either i'm getting the flash blind in effect or white or so it shouldn't be it i don't need it to be continuous so this is flash radius let's add a new variable what should we call this I think we need to have a different name for this. So close flash radius. Flash radius. So not close enough. So even if we are not looking at if we are within the inner flash radius, we should definitely get the flash bar blinding effect. So this is outer flash radius. Uh, this one, I'll make it 2000. <laughs> if this is true, we should get the full flash blind in effect otherwise we don't have to but still we should hear the earring in effect so We should hear it for some time. Or maybe since this is three, we don't need the delay, but let's see. I guess the distance is too close. This one is hundred. So thousand. And I think we need to have a different party instead of that generic effect. So we can change it. Uh, 
Uh, this is a cascade particle. Yeah, so let me duplicate this. Dash pan explosion. Let's just change the colors. Let's make it more white. Expand this make it bluish. Okay, but still we get this fire like color. Yeah, we are getting from this material, I think. Yeah, this does have the fire. Okay, so let's change this. Duplicate M slash back explosion. And here, instead of using this RGB, let's use only one channel so that we will not get this color details. And let's use this material now. Yeah. Right, it's better. Shop the hair of the gun. This one is more bluish. Okay. Then let's use this uh, particle effect for the flashback. Right. Let's see. So now, uh, here, if we want to have different steps, by that what I mean is, if we are, if the distance is within a certain range, the flashbang effect should last a different time range. So, here. We can use this same logic. To get the distance.
and here let's consider a case where this uh, distance is less than half of the flash radius divided by 2 if that is the case now let's select what was the previous yellow point to right if that is the case I'll make it point two otherwise point one so if uh, the explosion happens in a much closer range we will have a longer flash blinding effect otherwise it would be relatively shorter so test let's test We can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, Project Pals will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.